we just now saw a um, graph with three vertices a b and c i'm now going to use a spreadsheet to see the convergence question that i posed in the previous lecture so if you recollect a was the node on top b was the node on the left and c was the node on the right so the value of c completely it, 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 uh, the value of all these three vertices started off with 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 correct and the value of c if you remember uh, if you don't maybe you should watch the previous lecture and make note of um, the graph there right the value of c completely depended on the value of a so i'll say is equal to a a's value which is a3 and that's how that's how you use a spreadsheet so i'm sort of bored uh, using um, python interpreter for such uh, easy and trivial things um, so i'm using spreadsheet that's one reason one reason is because i find it very easy that's why i'm using a spreadsheet the second reason is that uh, when you want to observe convergence it's very easy to um, uh, use a excel sheet and then see the convergence especially when it comes to um, a topic such as this so getting back c's value will be same as a3 correct c was the bottom right node and the value of b if you remember was simply the value of c right but then the value of a was half as let me just write this down was equal to um what is that this uh, i'm sorry b's value was simply the value of c fine and the value of a was half of the value of b i write b3 b3 stands for this the column b and then row 3 so 0.5 times b3 was the value of a but then the value of c also had 0.5 times the value of um, uh, b3 correct please note what i'm doing here the formulas are visible here 0.5 times b3 the value of a is half of b3 and then the value of b is exactly the value of c3 in the previous iteration whatever that was and the value of c turns out to be the value of a3 if you remember from a it takes everything and half of what b3 had b had which is uh, this much right so this is perfect so what i do is the facility that a spreadsheet gives is when i just select this and come down and paste it it will do the same thing that you did here for the next step for example um, a was equal to 0.5 as you can see a was equal to 0.5 times b3 right this should be 0.5 times b4 you will observe that it, it will automatically see look at this it became b4 when you copy paste it excel gives uh, gives you that uh, liberty to automatically um, uh, repeat the pattern of formula so b5 happens to be c4 and c5 as you can see happens to be whatever was in a4 plus half of whatever was in b4 the best part now is if you just select these things and then pull this down it will populate the rest of the values now you see the values are changing tremendously uh, of a let's see when you look at a it is so on so on so on and you see the sort of values are same here values are same here it looks like it is converging right so let's look at it let us continue this formula for more and then see whether it converges well look at this it's almost 0 0.2 0 0.39 0 0.4 the values are in changing let me continue it even further right it's getting more and more sort of refined and even further let me go even further keep going keep going please note um, excel um, this google spreadsheet uh, uh, approximates the values here right eventually let's see what happens not much of a change you still have 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.4 happening but then you see what's happening here this is very very close to 0 0.2 very close to 0 0.4 very close to 0 0.4 as i keep continuing it you'll be surprised to see that it will converge to the exact value now look at this hip hip hooray there is 0 0.2 here 0 0.4 here and 0 0.4 here and this is the place where i would say it converges not just here here itself right converges
that's right so what just happened let us switch back to the uh, screencast in my next lecture and then see what exactly we did here and what did we observe please note the values a turned out to be 0.2 b turned out to be 0.4 and c turned out to be 0.4